What the hell is going on? We're all here to help you get the frick out of here so you can live on your own, buddy. We can't freaking sell it, damn it! <laughs> sell what? Trouble Busters! <sighs> Gangway! Extermination crew's here to freaking destroy unemployed bastards! How long are you gonna stay in bed, eh? The sun has already risen! Uh, what's with you all all of a sudden? I was awake up until a minute ago. I was up all night working. Let me sleep. Listen up, you prick. I'll just tell you our decision. Huh? What? What decision? Kyle here is gonna sell our luxury condo and the three of us will live together. Unemployed bastards like you, Tom, can get the hell out. Wait, wait, calm down. Why are you doing this? What the hell is going on? You're sitting in our goddamn apartment, bro. But both you and dad were, Kyle. And have I ever broken my promise about contributing a thousand dollars to our living expenses? No. What's with all of that bullshit? I put in fifteen hundred dollars. With the likes of Kyle working for that big prestigious company, he can easily afford fifteen hundred now, can't he? Frickin' obviously. How can you say I give y'all money for living expenses with only frickin' one thousand dollars without any goddamn shame? We're not doing this because we hate you, you know, Tom? That's right. We're doing this just to make you independent. We just want the old Tom from the good old days back. Look, I've tried explaining my current job to you many frickin' times. I repeat, when I quit my old job, I kept my solemn promise that I wouldn't get any stupid bullshit from y'all if I put in a thousand dollars for living expenses. I can't believe you're suddenly kicking me out regardless. It's your fault for not changing to benefit us better. You stay at home all the frickin' time and go touch grass just to go to the poker table at the casino every once in a while. If I stay with such a degenerate person, it will affect us too. Believe it or not, that is my... Ah, la 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 la, I don't wanna hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. We don't have the damn time to listen to the nonsense of the likes of you who plays poker without even working a damn day in their lives. Anyway, we've given you a notice to vacate, so you have one week to get the frick out. No, guys, listen! What's this? Steak for lunch? Yes, that's right. We're celebrating today. It's to commemorate the successful extermination of a certain unemployed bastard named Tom, isn't it? Even that same unemployed bastard contributes to living expenses without ever breaking his promises. Stop with the false criticism! Anyone who only puts in a mere grand a month is an unemployed bastard in my eyes. If you're so frustrated, you should get a job at a big company too! You're probably struggling so much, making only 130000 a month and just trying to make ends meet, aren't you? This is enough food for you! White bread crusts and super watery corn soup without a single grain of corn in it? If you don't work, you don't eat! You little... Look, if you have a problem with that, you don't have to eat it! Yes, yes, this is a meal that reflects my well-deserved income, Tom. You have no right to complain! Oh, shit. And I don't have much money in my wallet as of now. I don't want to go to the bank. Now I have to pay for my own food, too. I'll have to seriously think about getting out of there, since they are dead serious about kicking my ass out. Oh, what the hell is going on? Ah, the little unemployed parasite has returned. Did you guys do this? I mean, what the actual hell, man? No, we all told you to leave right away now, didn't we? We're all here to help you get the frick out of here so you can live on your own, buddy. Come on now, get your stuff and get out of here! You... you mother frickin' pricks! These bastards, with their immediate greed for money and their hatred for me, have no idea what kind of trouble they'll get into if I leave. I'll never forgive them! Troublebusters, initiate! And now the evidence is over and done with. <laughs> if things go the way I want them to, I'm sure they'll be so ready. Yes? Tom Finn speaking. How may I help you? We can't freaking sell it, damn it! Hmm, <laughs> sell what? The condo! Oh, I mean, I know that. <laughs> it's obvious it ain't gonna sell. You didn't know? Or rather, did you forget? That condo was actually... Yes, indeed. When we bought that condo, I was still a full-time employee of a big company, and I was still paying a big percentage of the mortgage. In other words, it was a joint family loan, and I was paying a share of it, fair and square. A real estate agency says they can't sell it unless you approve the sale! So approve it now! Hmm... You want me to approve it? Approve it! If I approve it, everything's settled? Of course! You'll be happy if I approve it. The hell yeah we will! <laughs> then frick nah! <laughs> what the hell? Why, son, why? You don't live here anymore, so you don't frickin' matter anymore, bitch! 
I may not matter anymore, but still, hell no. Nah. But why, why the frick not? not? Because I don't like you guys? What the hell is even that line of reasoning? What more reason could there be? Why? You don't live here anymore. For real, for real, you ugly four-figure salary bitch. How do you have the audacity to boast so frickin' much? Your $1,000 is frickin' nothing. That's why we call you unemployed, Tom. That's right. If you don't like it, go work for a big prestigious company like Kyle, damn it! Oh, that's right. My big brother works for a big prestigious company, doesn't he? That's right. There's a huge difference between your slave-ass salary and mine. Oh yeah? Huge difference, you reckon? A frickin' course. Then give me the percentage of the condo when y'all sell it, and I'll allow it to be up for auction. By the way, I own 40% of it. So let's say that if the condo sold for 500,000, I get 200,000. 200,000?! Well, I can't force you to do that now, can I? If you don't like it, you can always grovel at my feet. You stupid damn coward! Such a little goody two-shoes parasite looking down on me! Your own father, for God's sake! What are we going to do, honey? We can't sell the house if we don't do this! Oh, hell's bells. Who the hell is at our damn door at this frickin' hour? Tom's fallen so far behind that I'd forgotten that the loan was co-mortgaged between father and sons! The sale price of this house is 300,000, right? Then that means Tom will take 120,000! That's what'll happen if we don't give in to this demands! Uh, hey, uh, Kyle! We're coming, baby! Uh, oh, come on now. How rude of y'all to scream at someone at the mere apparition of their faces. Oh, uh, um, how may I help you, Mr. Adrian? If I'm coming here, it's only to talk about money now, isn't it? Open up. Uh, and that, and, and that's what's going on. <laughs> and what are you gonna do? Of course, uh, we'll do what we can to cajole Tom right away. Bro, you can't be serious. He's really condescending to y'all. I mean, like, for real. Respect to him, I guess. The interest on the money you borrowed us has ballooned to 200,000. I'll have you know. The selling of this fine condominium is 300,000. 120,000 of which will go to Tom, and the remaining 180,000 will be to us. And what are you planning on doing with the remaining 20,000 that will still be left over if you can't pay back the full amount? No, no, that's... Uh, we'll do our best to pay it back. He'll do his best, he says. <laughs> you can't do that. That's why you're 200,000 indebted to yours truly now, ain't ya? Eh? I'll make the money as I go along. I won't accept anything but a lump sum. And not a single penny less than what we agree on. I don't trust any money slut's promises. See you in ten days' time. <laughs> what are you going to do, honey? We'll negotiate the frick out ourselves. Well then, I'll take care of it. I'm Tom's mother here, and I can find a way to break him. Shit, he already sent me something. What did he say? I'm not giving up my 40% share. If you can't, I ain't never gonna approve the sale. God damn it, the parasite really has us in the palm of his hand. What are you gonna do, Dad? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, looks like the toxic money-grubbing bitch just swallowed my conditions. Jackpot, baby! The parasite's the sale of the condo! That's great! That's awesome! That's my two IQ bird brain kinfolk. As long as we get his permission, it's all ours. Of course, I won't give up any shares to him. Not now, not in a week, not ever in a thousand years! That's right. There's no need to give money to such an ungrateful son of a bitch. Well then, let's frickin' sell it, folks! Hell, Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm sure those pea brains are gonna take action without ever thinking about this again. I'll make them pay for packing up my stuff and kicking me out of my sorry ass, for not understanding my work at all, and for being so goddamn demeaning towards me. You stupid village folk. That for sale is as good as destroyed. <laughs> you have no idea that this is just a trap to make you experience your last pathetic drops of happiness. Ah, oh, this is just no good. If you don't make it all right, it can't be for sale. And with how bad it is, it's going to cost almost $20,000 just to reform this wall. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda disappointed in you, Kyle. There's no way the house can be sold in this state. What the? What the hell is this? What's going on here? Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't know either. I mean, if I knew, I wouldn't have planned to freaking sell the damn place. Ding dong. And don't mind if I do. How's the sale going, eh? Tom! Tom? Tom, you damn bastard! What the hell is this? What do you mean? It's a huge hole in a wall, you idiot! You're the only one who could do something so stupid! 
Wow, what an end of humanity apocalyptic wall. <laughs> it's all beat up. Don't be so cocky, bitch. We know it was you. What? How do you know? How do you know? Do you have any proof? In that case, we have no choice but to repair the wall. Tom, you have to contribute to this too. Eh? Hey? Hard pass, mother fricker. What the hell? Don't you want the money? You don't even want to give me a freaking penny. Don't be so goddamn stupid. How? How did you know? Oh, enough with those stupid codfish faces of yours, damn it! That's not true! We were always gonna pay you exactly what we owe you! Can you sign a decree? A, a decree? Of course! <laughs> Hell no! That was the deadly silence a liar would use. No, no, seriously! I really can sign it for you! You're the one asking me for help, and you have the audacity to say you can sign it for me? I don't care if this hellhole doesn't get sold at all, for Christ's sake. But you guys need the money now, don't you? Uh, 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 what are you talking about, boy? Yeah, what are you t talking about, Tom? We're only selling it because this luxury condo is too big for the three of us. Yeah, nah. You guys are indebted to Adrian and his gang of misfits, aren't you? What? How did you know that? I used to be indebted to him as well, and I'm proud to say I'm one of the few who survive his business transactions without ever serving as his personal slave. That's, That's not something, something to be something proud, to be proud about. about! Therefore, all the info about such money flowing between Adrian and the people of society all eventually wind up with an earshot of yours truly. Selling the house due to mounting debts. As you know, if you decide to default on your loan, a future where the bank will take your house away from you is very possible, Mr. Finn. I advise you to be cautious. Yes, sir. And also, you mustn't forget to pay your property tax next month. Oh, what the? There's the existence of property tax. Even if you request paying in installments, it'll amount to $1,500. This will spell doom if it gets delayed, so please, be even more careful. $1,500 for house loan, $200,000 for repairs, another $1,500 for property tax, a total of $230,000 due this month. What are we going to do? If only we could manage to pay for the house repairs, we could sell the house. Such a stumbling block this is. Hank, my boy. Anna, my sweet. You guys don't seem to have much to offer anymore for the time being, so I guess you can go now, right? Uh, we could, indeed. But in this current situation, I'm pretty worried, Tom. Forced eviction is a last resort, and we'll lose a lot of money if we don't make changes around here. Don't worry, guys. I'll cover for everything when these damn parasites are gone. What? And here, I can now reveal to them and to you as well what I do for a living, and how much money I make per month. The fact that I've been interrupted so many times before aches me, because I could have prevented this whole situation. I'm a freelance poker analyst slash blogger, and I also livestream card games. My specialty's in poker, but my audience enjoys it when I add a little variety, so I do Blackjack, Texas Hold'em, Baccarat, and Casino War. I have a few regular gambling broadcasting shows and podcasts on the internet. My monthly income fluctuates from month to month, but I make 6000 at the most and 3000 at the least, and it's not that big of a drop. 3,000 to 6,000? A dumb monkey like you. We live in an age of diversity, you know? There are plenty of opportunities to turn your skills and hobbies into a lot of money. On the other hand, y'all still think in the Brazil is undefeated in soccer history mindset. By which I mean that people who can't change their image of the past will be left behind in the current of the times. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. There are still some people who still think that Brazil is still unbeatable as a soccer team, and yet they lose rather frequently nowadays. Well, that's why I'm gonna come back and do something about it when the parasites here are exterminated by four-digit debts. Oh, okay. Thanks, Tom, buddy. You've taken a lot off our minds. Well, I guess I'd better be on my way, too. What? House repairs, property taxes... I know you're heading into uncharted territory facing stormy winds right now, Wait a minute! Tom, my boy! Talk to Dad some more! Yes, honey, please! Stay a while. This is your house, too! You aren't any nuisance to us, you know that! Oh no, I'd rather not. At best, you'll shudder at the thought of Adrian's pestering, eh? He has a 100% debt collection rate with every passing year. No, that's... that's not good! I know, and I'm enjoying it! We apologize for what we've done to you so far! You've always been right! So how about it? Help us, please? We're your mom and dad, boy. I'm your loving father. We raised you and now you're forgetting what you owe us. It's time to return the favor. You're so full of shit. 
You're so full of shit! I'm sorry, you've always been- <laughs> Oh, shut your bitch ass up! You never said the words, we're sorry. So how can I trust your apology for one thing? I'm sure as hell not going to accept such a high-handed apology in the first place. <laughs> Apologize, Kyle! You're the one who made Tom the angriest! That's right! Working for a big, prestigious company, are we? What difference does that make when you're not even getting promoted? I looked into it and I heard you haven't gotten ahead at all! You can't blame me! Big, prestigious companies like where I work have a lot of business transactions to take care of. And the competition inside the company and outside is fierce as frick! Huh, and your salary has been at 2500 for years! That's less than the minimum wage of Tom! Frickin' pathetic! What the hell is wrong with you guys all of a sudden? You've been trying to get me to do this for a long time, and then you decide that I'm not worth as much as Tom, and you just hop onto his frickin' boat? Just because you're family doesn't mean you're loved automatically, boy. That's right! As they say, when money runs out, so does familial ties and karma! You goddamn pricks! Uh, how about it, Tom? An ungrateful bastard of a son by the name of Kyle will beat it out of here as fast as possible, so you can come back, of course. Yes, you can! And also, you've been wanting to eat mommy's food too, right? After all these years, eh? I'll make your favorite food for you! My favorite food? It's been over ten frickin' years since you've served me anything decent, bitch! You don't even remember my favorite food anymore now, do you? Well, um... Whatever remaining feelings I had for you guys were wiped away with your last exodus of my parasitic ass. Or so it seemed to you porridge brain baboons. Because that was... Shut up. I don't care what your excuses are. You've always been my role model of the people I never wanted to become. But you were right about one thing. Just because you're family doesn't mean you automatically love each other. That's right. That's exactly right. And it's so unfortunate that I've actually had to live that load of horseshit. That's why I'm not coming back here until you guys are gone. Taken, abducted, killed for all I care. Wait, Tom! We were wrong, honey. But this is all Kyle's fault. You can't even clean up after your parents. What a disgrace! That's right. We borrowed money to increase our assets, but your debt to Adrian is just a spending spree that was nothing more than a goddamn entertainment expense. What's this stupid ass entertainment expenses? You incompetent window side job people ought to frickin' just think about getting ahead in life, damn it! You son of a bitch! I'm the one paying most of your stupid mortgage and you act like that towards me! It's only natural that you should repay me for giving birth to you! After that, the three parasites couldn't find anything to improve the situation, and just resorted to cursing each other. They wasted their time in vain, and even after ten days, which was Adrian's deadline, the condo was still to be sold, and both George and Kyle were in a tight financial situation. The day after his deadline, I got a call from Adrian that consisted of nothing but two words, Trash Day. I immediately understood that they were gone, and so I went back to the apartment where I used to live. I repaired the apartment, paid what my excuse of a family owed to people, and got the things I needed for my new life. All of that done, and that means that my fight back, my revenge, was over. Once and for all. For now, it feels terribly roomy to be alone here. I should maybe try to find a roommate. Or maybe I should take the plunge and find someone to marry. Well, even if I wished to marry, no woman would ever be attracted to a charlatan like me. Uh, yes, coming! I am Miranda, and I just moved in next door. I've been making too many plastic models, so... Sharing your plastic models? With me? And the plastic models are already complete, so there's no real pleasure in them. Your taste in plastic models is unique, though, I admit. Where do you sell these plastic models? I'm not a reseller. Didn't ask. Yep, finding a woman to marry is another story for the future. Trouble Busters.